Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one out on your own first. Then when you're ready to check your work, press play, come on back and see me and we'll get to it. All right, welcome back fourth grade, here we go. So this one says, Grace compares the following values, one and a half, three eighths and eight thirds. Select all comparisons that are true. So we have three different fractions. One and a half, that's a mixed number. Three eighths, that's actually a fraction that's less than one. And eight thirds is a fraction greater than one. So I know a little bit about these fractions already. So the very first thing that I'm noticing is that three eighths, three eighths, that's a fraction that is less than one. While the other two, one and a half, and eight thirds are fractions that are greater than one whole. So I know that three eighths is going to be my smallest fraction. Now it comes down to one and a half and eight thirds. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare those a little bit just to see. Um, I know that one and a half, if I'm thinking about it on a number line, this would be zero, this could be one, and if right here is two, then one and a half is about right here. That's one and a half. And then eight thirds, eight thirds. Let me decompose that fraction to see how many holes I can get out of it. So I can get one hole, that would be three thirds. Three thirds plus three thirds is six thirds. Then I add on two more thirds to get eight thirds. So three thirds, that's one hole. Three thirds, that's two holes. That would be two holes and two thirds, which would be past this amount. So if I'm continuing my number line, so if I continue my number line to another hole of three, two and two thirds would be right about here. That's two and two thirds, which is the same thing as eight thirds. So we have one and a half, we have eight thirds right there. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put on my three eighths just in case. So I know that in between zero and one, I need to break that into eighths. So first I'll break it into half and then break it into um, eight equal parts and three eighths would be right here. Okay, so now I can see everything nice and clearly, which will make it so much more simple for me to go back and check each answer answer choice. So the first one says eight thirds is greater than one half. Well, according to my number line, that is true because eight thirds goes farther along. So I can mark that one as true. The next one says three eighths is greater than eight thirds. Should we keep that one or eliminate it? Let's eliminate that one because 3 eighths is way less. I can see that on my number line. So no, we're gonna eliminate that one. Let me move on to one and a half is less than 3 eighths. What do you think? Keep that one or eliminate? Yeah, we need to eliminate that one because one and a half is greater than 3 eighths. So no to that one. Over here it says 8 thirds is greater than one and a half. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Eight thirds is greater than one and a half. I can see that on my number line that I've created. All right, and then we're looking at one and a half. Is that greater than three eighths? Yes, so we can go ahead and keep this one. This is a great answer choice. There we go. All right, let's take a look at the next one. It says three eighths 
is less than eight thirds. What do you think? Is that true? That is true. So, so far we're looking good. All right, now is eight thirds less than one and a half? Is that true? No, that one is not true because eight thirds over here is greater than one and a half, not less than. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. All right, and our final one says that one and a half is greater than three eighths. Is that true? It is true. So we can go ahead and keep that one. Let's mark it. So we've got three answer choices for this one. Go ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the principle and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.